Hey, Kai. Sorry I'm late. It's okay. I'm just enjoying the day. You said you had something important to tell me? I hope it's not about Chris wanting me to join his operation, because I already told him that's not happening. I see what he puts you and the rest of his hound wolf squad through. <laughs> no, thank you. It's not about that. It is about you. Me? I... I worry about you. How is, um... How are things at school? <laughs> Seriously? That's what you wanted to talk to me about? That group of mean girls still hassling you? I mean, are they still treating me like a freak? Hey! Uh-uh. Look at me. You are not a freak. I am. You know I am. That's why I keep my distance from everybody at school. If they knew what I really was. So... You don't have any friends? You can talk to. <laughs> talk to? About what? How I'm hardly even human? How I'm some kind of horrendous monster? <laughs> but, hey, it's okay. I hardly ever murder my friends. What if there were a way to get rid of your powers? I get rid of them in a heartbeat. All right, well. I think there's something I need to show you. You already know about Miranda and the mutamycete, how she researched it obsessively and performed experiments on human subjects. Like me. Exactly. Uh, what you don't know is that we recently found some of her research. Apparently, she discovered a purifying crystal that can remove the mutamycete from its host. Purifying crystal? If we can get our hands on one of these, we might be able to weaken or remove your powers entirely. Are you kidding me? No. No, but her notes are incomplete. However, I think I have an idea where we can find the rest of her research. Then let's do it. Let's find it. Where is it? Uh, in there. What? That's a fragment of the Megamycete. It absorbs and stores memories from people who pass away in close proximity, including Miranda, and everything she knows. If you enter its consciousness, you might be able to solve the mystery of the purifying crystal. Wait, what do you mean, enter its consciousness? Oh, so, okay, so you, your deep connection will allow you to explore the information within. That sounds crazy. You sound crazy. Yes, 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 Rose, but not dangerous, right? Think of it just like walking through somebody else's memories. You really think this can work? I think it's worth trying. What do you have to lose? Uh, how do I even do this? <laughs> Shit, I, I don't know. Try reaching out to it. See what happens. Okay. Fine. What the hell? isn't here. <laughs> so, you don't have the purifying crystal? <laughs> of course. 
course not. For that, you'll have to go deeper. Much deeper. Poor Rose. <laughs> she can't trust anyone. <laughs> Why are you doing this? No one loves you. And when you're dead, no one will care! <laughs> Enough of this. Now you'll drown the king first. First? Why does she only want you? What are you talking about? Give up, Rose. Find that crystal. Because of him, I can keep going. I have to find that crystal.
Oh my god. Is this what normal feels like? <sighs> so long for you. Who... Who are you? My name is Miranda. What? You had become so powerful. Far too powerful for me to subdue directly. So, I had to lure you into this realm so that you might willingly relinquish your powers. No, but... He said, did he, or did I? <gasps> Was an illusion. Very convincing, wouldn't you say? No way. Now you can become the vessel to my Eva! Sorry I left you alone, but I had to find a way out. And I did. It's just ahead. your chance. Go live a normal life. Make friends. No one will ever call you a freak again. But... Rose, just go! I don't want to leave you! I know. I love you, but I need to know that you're safe. So please, just... Ethan, you insolent pest! I got this. Get out of here.
much to learn. But you're incredible. And even though I wasn't there with you, I've always watched over you. I'm so sorry I couldn't protect you. All you've ever done is protect me. No. Not this time. You lost your chance. I'm so sorry. No. It was my choice. I don't regret it one bit. If I had left you, then we never would have had this chance to talk face to face. <laughs> so it's okay. I'm back. <sighs> 